Join the new Earth on the Cornelia Stephanie Show. Everything is energy, vibration, and frequency. Are you ready to shift your reality now and move into the abundance of your spirit? Call 1-800-930-2819 as Cornelia takes callers and guides people on the path of self-healing, peace, and liberation, releasing everything not in harmony with their divine truth. The Cornelia Stephanie Show, your catalyst for empowerment in the new earth. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Cornelia Stephanie Show. I'm so excited to be with you today. Happy 4th of July. Happy 5th of July. Happy Independence Day. And um, so excited to do this show with you today. I, uh, I, I still get nervous when I hear the intro and it's, it's about ready to come on and then you go live. And so for the people that are watching uh, with me on Facebook and then for the people that are listening to me on the podcast, uh, I, I so much appreciate you tuning in and I want you to call into the show at one 800 930-2819 and, and talk to me and I'd be more than happy to uh, assist you in viewing uh, whatever challenge uh, you're experiencing in your life from another uh, point of view, from, from a higher perspective. Uh, I would love to um, call in the highest counsel so that we can really take a look at what some of these issues are that you uh, want to talk about because there is nothing that we can't overcome and that we can't heal with uh, the power of our intention, with the power of our love, with uh, knowing that this is what we came here to do. We came here to heal and we came here to rise above whatever uh, the challenges are in our life so that we can overcome them and co-create and build a new world. So last night when I was sitting here thinking about um, how do I want to roll out the show and I, um, I'm intuitive and so I tune into the energies and I tune into what is really on the surface right now, what really wants to be talked about. Last week I did a show uh, from not good enough to get to enough. And if you haven't viewed or listened, listened to that show, go to CorneliaStephanie.com and look under media, and that show is listed right there. It was a really, really powerful show because I talked about anger. And anger wants to be talked about again today. And so um, that's one of the things that we're going to address in this segment is uh, anger is coming up to the surface for a lot of us. And I, I can't stress enough how, what a raw, powerful emotion anger is. And since we're in this spirit of independence, being free from anger and what is it that's underneath that anger that's the place where liberation takes place. And if we can look at that anger is the catalyst, it's the fire that's assisting you to clear away the debris, to really go in and find out what's underneath that anger, you're going to discover that there is a truth that is waiting to be claimed. And what I found with uh, anger is that a lot of people, they feel bad when they get angry. They don't know how to communicate their truth in relationships. So they may shut down. Uh, they may withdraw. They may pull back. They may project the energy out onto the people, their partner, their um, co-worker, their husband, their children. They may suppress it inside their physical body. And all of those are harmful because anger is such a powerful force. It's, it's, an, it's a natural human emotion. And learning right now how to use our anger as a catalyst for liberation, 
that's what wants to be expressed. It wants to be expressed in all of us because all of us right now are being activated. Our inner bullets are going off and there is uh, alchemy that wants to be realized. So how can we learn how to get in contact with our anger, not feel bad about it and not feel like, uh, like one of my clients last week, she was feeling like if she got angry that she was going to uh, be creating a, more karma, more anger. And so she was avoiding it. And so her habitual strategy was to suppress it and not even acknowledge it. But her entire vibration is walking around feeling that anger. And so then what happens with that emotion is thoughts attached to it. And then the next thing that's going to be is, is um, you're just going to end up feeling really bad, feeling really frustrated and um, doing negative self-talk because now the anger is directed inward. And if that goes on long enough, uh, the anger turned inward when it goes down really, really deep to it, we can become depressed. We can become depressed and then we become paralyzed and we can't move forward. So there's so much to anger. And uh, like I said last night, when I was uh, preparing for the show, this is the topic that really wanted to be expressed. So I want to encourage you to, if you are in a situation right now and your inner bullets are going off, know that it's happening so that you can um, discover what is your truth? What is it that you're angry about? And we're going to go into that in uh, throughout this show. And so even I encourage you, if you want to call 1-800-930-2819 and talk to me about what it is that you're angry about. Because when we're looking at the world stage again, there's so much that's happening outside. And there's nothing more important right now than that you have yourself at peace and that you are in your center where you're feeling good and you're feeling um, like you're deliberately creating what it is that you want from a place of liberation and from a place of empowerment. And again, if you're feeling angry, the best thing to do is to use that anger and move uh, from that place into uh, discovering what's underneath there. There is a truth that's waiting to be claimed. So uh, let's see. I feel like um, in the collective right now, what's really what what we're healing as a collective is we're healing the core wound of separation. Feeling separate from whatever your belief system is. If your belief system is God, feeling separate from your creator, feeling separate from source energy. And I believe that um, that is actually the basis of all fear and of all anger is the feeling that we have been separate, that we have been separated from our creator and from our God and from source. And uh, karmically, that's playing out on a large scale right now is we are healing that separation. We're coming into union with the truth of who we are. And the truth is that we've never really been separate from our creator. We've been living for 26,000 years in a cycle of living everything that we're not. Everything that we're not. We've been living and experiencing everything that we're not. And now part of the awakening that's taking place, this new earth, the new era, the uh, new world that we're building, is so that we can live and experience everything that we are. 
And the truth is, is that planet Earth is a duality planet. We're living here with opposites. And um, one of the core wounds, one of the emotional core wounds that we're healing from, that our physical body is healing from, is all those thousands and thousands and thousands of years of feeling separation, feeling abandoned, feeling not good enough, feeling not worthy. So this is, this is big stuff. And I can tell you that I too was on the opposite side of feeling separate from my source. But through my own inner journey and the inner work that we're all doing, the inner work that we're all being called to do is liberating us. And we have all the tools that we need inside. And that is the power of our emotions. Our emotions are the, the catalyst to feel, to feel what it feels like, to feel these feelings. When we think about, for long periods of time, we've been suppressing our emotions and we've been suppressing and numbing it up and covering ourselves up. And um, our addictions have been uh, ruling our behavior. And really, in order for us to, to, to live a new day, in order for us to build a new world, we have to get in contact with those feelings. And I found that a lot of times the only way through all of that is to go through it, to go through the storm, to sit with the feelings of whatever it is that you're feeling. And by you sitting with it and by you being with it allows you the ability, you as a creator, to sit and feel what it feels like to feel separate, what it feels like to feel the abandonment, what it feels like to not feel worthy, to not feel good enough, because that's what we're healing right now. We're healing all of that, and our bodies have all of that suppression stored in our cellular memory. And now is the time with, uh, how everything is speeding up and everything is moving so fast and we're becoming so conscious and so aware of how amazingly powerful, juicy, and gifted we are. So learning how to process your emotions is a really big, important piece. I have an emotional processing technique available on my website for free for anybody that wants it. You can go to CorneliaStephanie.com and you can look on the bottom. There's a little box and it says free to Cornelia, uh, new to Cornelia's work. And all of the emotional processing techniques are all listed there. There's the anger management technique on how to release anger. And there's the emotional uh, processing technique also available so that you can really learn how to process your emotions. So this is, this is the energy of what we are right now expressing. And, and it, this is going to uh, continue on as we continue on going in through the summer where we're really being called to, to clear, to heal and to purify and giving ourselves the permission to speak our voice, to shine our light, and to liberate ourselves from the prison that we have found ourselves in. And I can tell you what, on the other side of that is pure bliss. And once you make it through that, and so if you're, if you're in a space right now where you're not feeling like you're um, on purpose, even where you're at is purposeful. And every situation is giving us the opportunity to heal and release something from our past so that we can move into the truth of who we are. I thank you so much for listening and tuning in. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. You're listening to The Cornelia Stephanie Show. I'm Cornelia Stephanie, and it's so nice to be with you today. 
I um, want to uh, send everybody to my website at corneliastephanie.com. I have a lot of free tools there. And um, if you look at the bottom right, uh, left-hand corner, there's uh, free tools on emotional processing and anger management technique. And uh, yeah, and if you... If you feel like you want to work with me personally, you can uh, email me at radio at corneliastephanie.com and I will give you a free consultation and we can talk about uh, whatever uh, challenges you may be facing with uh, uh, relationships or release work or anger. Uh, it this is this is the work that I do and I, I assist a lot of people to move into their authority. And part of what's happening right now, too, is that people's authority is really being um, called into action. So all the places where we've given our power away to an outside authority is um, asking for you to claim your power back, for you to claim your for, for you to claim your voice, for you to claim your voice and your wisdom. So um, just even yesterday, you know, I, 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 I'm so fortunate. I get to work with such incredible, awesome people like you. The, the people that I get to work with are authors. They are uh, moms. They're dads. They are um, co-creators of heaven on earth. They're doctors. They're lawyers. They're psychiatrists. They're emergency room doctors all kinds of people that are at a place right now where they're looking at becoming and being their own authority. And that when, when, when they truly tune in and live from that truth, from live from that place and make decisions from that place, pure liberation takes place and they're in charge and in control of their life. So yesterday I was working with a client and it was really interesting because we, uh, I had, I had my agenda about, okay, this is the process I'm going to take him through today. This is what we're going to do. And, um, and so then, then when, when we met, I was, I was telling him about, okay, you know, I'm not really sure where you are today, but here is my agenda. And this is what I, uh, would like to do with you. And, um, he was listening to everything I said, and then he said, you know what, I just really don't even want to even hear anything you have to say right now, because right now I really need to do this. And it was so great, because he called exactly what it is that he needed. And he felt like this was, this was his session, this was his empowerment, this was his support, and he wanted my support, and he wanted my insight into where he was at and what he was experiencing. And it was just beautiful. And through that, there was huge liberation that took place. And so I just, I just love what it is that I do. So I want to talk about um, an article I read, or just, it's not even an article. It's something about compassion, fierce compassion. And I want to share with you this, this, uh, this piece that was written by Sol Trim Allion. And I, I, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that name right. But, but here, here's what she writes. And this has to do with the Dalai Lama. And, and pay attention to this. She says that I was at lunch with the Dalai Lama and five Buddhist teachers at Spirit Rock Meditation Center. We were sitting in a charming room with white carpets and many windows. The food was delightful, fragrant, fragrant, vegetarian Indian meal. There were lovely flower arrangements on the table. We were discussing sexual misconduct among Western Buddhist teachers. A woman Buddhist from California brought up someone who was using his students for his own sexual needs. One woman said, we are working with him on compassion. We're trying to get him to understand his motives for explo exploiting female students and to help him change this. 
with compassion and precision. Compassion is not a wishy-washy anything. Compassion can say a fierce no. And I'm just noticing that there's a part that didn't print out from the printer. But basically what happened is the Dalai Lama slammed his fist on the table and the glasses began to shake on the table. And he said, enough of compassion. This needs to be exposed for what it is. It needs to be, these people need to be exposed for what it is. So don't try to fluff it up with compassion. I mean, he slammed his fist down on the table. And so what that shows is that anger is that, that fire, that passion, that compassion, compassion, fierce fire, is he put his fist on the table and he said, enough of that. We can't spiritually bypass everything with compassion. He showed his raw human emotion that we all have. And even the Dalai Lama, expressed his passion, expressed his anger, expressed his emotion with the, the glasses shattering. So that's, that's what I want to show you is that it's okay for you to get in contact with your anger. A lot of people that have strong spiritual beliefs or that, have, um, that feel that anger is wrong or that it's bad, it's really not. It's what we do with our anger. And so you see, even in that situation with the Dalai Lama sitting with his, his students, with, with they, they were all sitting together and they were talking about it, and he said, enough. And that's the energy that, that we also are calling to be called to express now. Enough enough. What is it in you that's asking for that fire to be activated? And that says enough of this already. Where is it that your um, voice hasn't been heard? So I want to ask you these questions. What is it that's really being triggered in you? What is it that is really being triggered? What wants your attention? What really wants your attention? What's your habitual response to anger? That's a really important one. What do you do? Do you normally, when you get angry, do you suppress it? Do you get quiet? Do you withdraw? Do you do negative self-talk? What is, it, what is it that you do? Do you project the energy out on somebody else so that you can see it? I find that a lot with the people that I work with, that um, it gets projected onto me. Their anger gets projected onto me, and then they can see it. Uh, they can see where it is that that they didn't see it before because this has been ongoing for such a long period of time. So really pay attention to what your habitual response is and what you do. And when you find out what your response is, like what, how do you normally respond? Do you need to change the response? So then rather at, than projecting it out onto the other person or, or looking at yourself and um, being frustra frustrated with yourself that, you know, no matter what's going on, that um, you're, you're, you're vibrating in that place of frustration, you're angry there. Uh, maybe it's because you want to learn on how to express yourself in a more constructive way. So what I found is that a lot of times people feel afraid to communicate their true feelings. And that's really what's underneath that anger is how can I communicate my true feelings to the person? 
And remember that a lot of times when, when you get angry, it's never, never, ever about the other person. The trigger is happening in you so that you can release something from your past, that you can reveal to you what it is that you're angry about and really find out what your truth is now so that you can communicate that truth to, to, to the world, to yourself. Because the, the number one thing is, is that you don't want to walk around in the world being angry. It's about what we do with our anger. And it's about uh, not projecting it outside into the world and, and not, not suppressing it in our physical body. Both of those are harmful. But if we use our anger as creative fuel and as fire, as a cleansing, uh, then we become liberated. We're going to take a quick break. My name is Cornelia Stephanie, and you're listening to The Cornelia Stephanie Show. We'll be right back. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to The Cornelia Stephanie Show. I'm Cornelia Stephanie, and today we're talking about anger. We're talking about processing our emotions. We're talking about how it's okay to get in contact with our anger and that all of us right now on the world stage are healing um, old wounds from our past. And the only way that we can do that is through the process of our emotions, really taking a look at what is it that's triggering us. I wrote this incredible book back in 2014, and the, the book is called Peace, the Flip Side to Anger. And that's when I got in contact with my own anger to, to find out that how can I be at peace when I still feel so angry and powerless on the inside and uh, how I use my emotions to heal my life and my body and how you can too. And this book is available on Amazon. And, and this book actually is for therapists. It's for healers. It's for massage therapists. It should be translated in every language. In, uh, should be in every school system. All the kids should be taught on how to process their emotions, how to process their energy. And um, you can get it on Amazon. There is a lot of, uh, the book is like, uh, what is it, 300 pages. And I've got a 21-day peace practice in here. I've got um, practices on how to release uh, old energy and how to process fear, how to process emotions. And there's stories in here about how I released my own anger and um, claimed my truth. So it's a wonderful book, and uh, you can get it on Amazon. So there's that. And then I, I think that we have a caller on the show right now. Uh, we have a caller. Is that right, Benny? Yep. We have Bob calling in from uh, Le um, LeConnor. I'll get that out right. Bob, welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Bob. Hi, I just How's it the going? Hey, that... pardon? How are things going? They're going fine. I just wanted to call and tell the listeners that uh, I've had the chance to uh, work with you for the last several years, and uh, it's been extremely beneficial to me because... I had this uh, issue, which you were quick to clarify for me, uh, thankfully, so that I could uh, I could begin to to work with uh, with uh, an issue I had, which I thought I didn't have, and that had to do with the separation you were talking about earlier, and uh, separation from source. I thought I had a pretty good handle on uh, on that issue, and uh, discovered I didn't have a handle on it at all. So. I just wanted to call and thank you, publicly for the wonderful job you've you've helped me to accomplish by uh, identifying the issue and then helping me through your own uh, processes to to really work with that and to benefit from it. So I'm I'm really I'm really a different guy now than I was when I started with you. So I just wanted to thank you for that help. Bob, I, I so appreciate you taking the time out and being courageous to call in and, 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 and share that. I, I know that, that uh, other people hearing, hearing that, that, um, that you, too, uh, were struggling with uh, 
feeling separated, feeling separate from, from God, from source, um, that this is a, a, a core emotional wound and that all of us are being asked to heal the separation because we know that the separation isn't, isn't real. It's just that, that, that we have felt this. Um, we have felt this. And the only way right now that we can move beyond that is by bringing our absolute uh, love to knowing that we're, we've never been separate. Is that right? Yeah, that's the way I'm feeling about it, too. But you, it, was, it was you that brought me back around to that point. I was, thought I was there earlier. And uh, now at my uh, more advanced age, uh, I'm coming right back around to it. And you just helped me to, to realize I hadn't com- really completed the cycle. It wasn't nearly as deep and uh, that as it should be. And now I'm just on a whole new path. And uh, it just, uh, it's just very exciting to be alive at this point. So I'm, uh, I'm really happy about that. Yeah, and uh, it's it's a wonderful it's a wonderful opportunity for for everybody to uh, embrace their own inner creator, knowing that that we're not separate from each other, and that we're all connected, and that we're all one. And Bob, thanks for being on, on the call. Uh, you can you can hang out with me just for a second. Um, sure. Uh, you know, this is one of the reasons why I'm talking about uh, anger right now, because there is a lot of, of anger being projected out into the world. And anger is, um, uh, you know, uh, a really powerful human emotion and has kept us separate. It has kept us separate because when we're angry, we close off and we um, isolate ourselves and we um, we hold on to this powerful energy within our physical bodies or we harm somebody else by using um, passive aggressive behavior or um, getting angry at somebody else. So what have you found in, in your um, uh, journey, in your evolution, especially as of now, with how do you deal with anger? Well, I think, I think the, the, the first thing I want to do to thank you for in that regard is, is, is your book, because uh, Peace, the Flip Side of Anger, is exactly right. There is a flip side to every anger, and this is one of the things that, uh, uh, that you're pointing out repeatedly and, 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 and bears uh, re- repetition once more. Because under, under the pain that we have associated with separation, under the pain we have associated with anger, is a, is, there's a flip side to that. And uh, if you can work your way through the anger to the point where you begin to see uh, light uh, amid the darkness and can begin to work with that, you come out into a whole different place. And, and uh, the anger has become a means of getting to the peace that we all want. So I'm just really... Uh, excited to to have discovered that myself and uh, it's just a, it's just a wonderful place to be now but I would not have gotten there if I hadn't really been working my way through all the the anger that was there in my sense of of uh, my sense of my personal sense of uh, unworthiness that I was experiencing I had I had this deep sense of inadequacy even though I thought I recognized it and I was mature enough to handle it I really wasn't handling it well at all, and uh, I was angry about that, upset that I wasn't. I didn't know it to begin with until you pointed it out to me that uh, this is what this this is what was at the base of that anger was a, a profound disappointment with myself and my my inability to overcome my own sense of of self worth. And uh, with your help. I was able to get to that point so that now I can look at myself and and, and uh, see myself as I truly am. As you pointed out, the truth of who we are is a key basis to understanding anything else. If we don't have that, we're, we're still going to be lost and still angry and still upset about where we are. And now, now that I have that sense of who I am and where I am, uh, it just makes all the difference in the world because I approach everything differently because of that. The world looks different to me. The world is different to me because I've created it more to, 
to uh, be in alignment with. I have I have a capacity that's always been there, but I didn't realize it so lately. And having discovered that, I'm now experiencing that on a daily basis, which reinforces that notion of the truth of who I am and how wonderful that is. I am a child of God. I didn't realize that before in any serious, profound sense, but I do now. And I'm just a product, like we all are, of, of evolution, and I've discovered within that evolutionary process, I have... I have, I have, I discovered the the the, the uh, ability to love, the ability to feel, the ability to uh, think uh, well, to all these things, uh, because I'm basically the Old Testament had a way of saying it. I'm I'm in, I'm, I'm in a, a part of the image of God. So I think that's a wonderful thing to recognize in myself, and I want other people to sense that too, but we all have the job, always have the job of, of uh, take, we all have our own journey and we have to discover that for ourselves. So nothing I can do, I, nor what I want to do, that would disrespect the journey other people are on. So I know that I have to look at for my journey and that's what I want to really pay attention to. So that yes. journey has been really, really taken me forward thanks to your helping me to discover what the problem was. Mm -hmm. It's been such a pleasure. Uh, it's been such a pleasure to work with you and also uh, see how uh, how you're influencing the community by who you're being, the man that you're being, the person that you're being, the being that you're being, and how you are uh, co-creating a new world with us. Because we know that you talked about your advanced age and the, 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 the world that you came from um, is certainly not uh, where we're continuing and there's so much change happening and I give you so much kudos so much respect so much love so much honor for uh, Doing this inner work and that you know, that's why it doesn't matter how old you are It doesn't matter when you begin uh, the most important thing is that you begin so Bob Thank you so much for calling in and uh, we're gonna take a quick break everybody You're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie show and we'll be right back Welcome back. You're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie show and we're talking about energy. We're talking about anger. We're talking about fire and we're talking about how to navigate uh, the upcoming period in our life being emotionally in balance. I have, I wrote my book, Peace, the Flip Side to Anger that you can get on Amazon, how I healed my uh, body with my emotions and my life and how you can too. And in the book, I, I, I share about um, how to process emotions. And there are four ways in which a person can express or deal with emotions. And knowing how you, your client, uh, deals with them can shift the balance of power from the emotion back to the process. So remember earlier I was talking about how do you express your emotions your anger? How do you express your energy? How do you express your emotion? Do you suppress or deny it, trying to hide the emotion from yourself, trying to avoid it? Do you withhold? You're aware of it, but you consciously are choosing not to express it. Unconscious expression. Are you dumping your emotion onto another, blaming another for what's going on with you? Or are you consciously experiencing, expressing, willing to feel the emotion fully with clear expression and self-responsibility? I mean, that's where we want to be. And when we learn how that anger isn't bad, that it's there, that when you're being triggered, that there is something that is underneath there that is asking for your attention. What is it that's really being triggered is the question. What really wants your attention? What really wants your attention? What's your habitual response? Do you suppress or deny? Do you withhold? Do you project it onto another person? These are all ways that you can discover on how you work with your own energy, which is going to liberate you, which is going to empower you. And that's what this show is about. It's about 
uh, emotional liberation so that we can navigate um, the energy from a, from a clean place, from a pure place. Uh, in the book, I talk about the emotional core wounds. And earlier I mentioned um, how we live on, on the planet of duality. So we have all opposites playing out. Light, dark, good, bad. Um, if we're not feeling good enough, unworthiness, worthiness. So I want to I want to talk to you about what the core wounding is and what you may be feeling right now on what you're clearing and asking for resolution uh, for uh, healing. So um, some people may feel abandonment right now. Uh, feeling abandoned, you may be feeling abandoned by your creator. And what's on the opposite end of that is we want to feel safe. Betrayal. Some people may be feeling betrayal right now, feeling betrayed. And what's on the opposite of that is trust. Unworthy, not good enough. Worthy. You are born worthy. We're going from... Um, living and um, moving beyond the survival into a place of abundance and flow because we, we are building a new world that is sustaining us and where we're thriving and where we're shining. The victim savior is also another uh, core wound that's playing out. So uh, we've been victims all our lives. And we've been waiting for someone to come and save us. And the truth is what's on the opposite side of that is an empowered creator. Because you are the creator. And nobody is coming to save anybody. We're here uh, empowered, saving ourselves, healing ourselves, loving ourselves. This is what we're here to do. When, when we know how to bring that unconditional love, that unconditional acceptance, that self-love, to who we are, the truth. We, we are healing the separation that we have once felt. And um, the, another one is a separation from God, from source is a core wound. Um, and the opposite of that is oneness and unity. The ugliest, ugliest one of all of them is shame. Feeling ashamed, feeling ashamed, uh, feeling not good enough, feeling ashamed feeling ashamed to claim our own power, to claim our own authority. And, and uh, your anger is a powerful liberator that can um, clean and purify your environment, your physical body. So learn how to use your anger in a powerful way, in a way that's supporting you. Go to my website at corneliastephanie.com. On the bottom left-hand corner, I have all the wonderful tools. And even when this YouTube video is uploaded, we're going to be um, putting the an anger management PDF technique available for you. If you want to work with me, send me an email at radio at corneliastephanie.com, and I'll be happy to give you a free consultation to see if we're a good fit. In the meantime, I send you so much peace, love, and liberty in your day, and may you make magic with every move you make. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for tuning in. You've been listening to The Cornelia Stephanie Show, Everything is Energy. Call 1-800-930-2819. Cornelia's mission is to engage others in practical ways and show how to live in the new earth in harmony with our true divine nature. For more information on Cornelia and her extraordinary work or to listen to past shows, go to her website at corneliastephanie.com.